this is a small intro for special episode because last Saturday I filmed episode for uh, my vlog and I was talking so long about cardigans and in the end there was such a long video that I decided I will cut it and just uh, give you this small part in the middle of the week and um, before we start or continue <laughs> I will uh, show you the yarn you will see it later again and I will talk about this yarn and about my problem with it in the end and with the hard choices <laughs> so i really hope you will spend this time with me and will comment what you think what have you in in your mind about this yarn and ideas for it so let's watch it and i hope to your help <laughs> and i ordered only one ball from alpaca also alpaca uh, silk of hair um, so I ordered this alpaca silk of hair because I wanted to see how this color and actually this super soft nice yarn which I loved after this project I think I will use it a lot in the future but I ordered this color which is a color 5 to see how this will work out with my rustic yarn uh, I have I have showed you this yarn, which is um, half fifty percent of sheep wool and fifty percent of dog wool, <laughs> and uh, I have washed this yarn. Now it's uh, very airy, light, and fluffy. Uh, at first, that this yarn was much more thinner, and I feel that it's very oily. And uh, when I was planning and telling you that I want to knit a cardigan from this yarn, I was trying this mohair with the yarn, but it's not quite fluffy and then i ordered this and it looks like a perfect match and so when i've got this uh uh alpaca brush it alpaca silk my hair i made a sample as soon as it is possible and it looks like this um and also i made a ball from this and uh, when I am making <laughs> when I am making a ball uh, there is uh, some grass and uh, I think it's a grass which I am taking out and, and also there is uh, some black sheep threads we'll put it here <laughs> and yes and ball in the end it's a light yarn but in the end this sample become quite big um, there is 80 stitches and 26 rounds because my plan was to knit i decided that i will knit a cardigan from this book and it is a cardigan which calls a sopo and i was planning to knit this uh, shirt one part but my gauge is two stitches wider and i can't decide what what should i do when i when i have a gauge bigger than there should be my in my brain has an error 
and I can decide what to do because it, for me much easier is to adjust the smaller gauge to bigger either bigger gauge to smaller <laughs> and yes and I, actually it would be easy if I had the size M or L time a size excess I'm usually taking the smallest size and if my gauge is smallest then you should be I take just a bigger uh, size and now I don't know what should I do because I can't take smaller there isn't smaller size and I'm not so experienced in, in this part and I don't know what to do <laughs> so uh, therefore I was spending more than an hour yesterday just looking for a garment with a bigger uh, gauge like I have and in Ravelry I found some cardigans which I can show you maybe you have know them maybe you will inspire to knit them and maybe you can just please suggest me what should I do because I really love that super cardigan and there is a beauty it's like a simple garment but there is a very cute uh, braids on your sleeve part and there is a nice folded uh, neckline edge and I really like that there is no buttons <laughs> uh, I just wanted a super simple uh, pattern for this yarn because it's a rustic yarn uh, I'm not ready to knit a sweater and wear like this is quite itchy I wouldn't wear it but with this alpaca uh, hair, it feels um, less itchy, but still. And I think this yarn would be perfect for cardigan. And I'm really looking forward to knit a cardigan. So, and I'm <laughs> uh, disappointed that I can't do it for this pattern because I don't know how to adjust my huge gauge for this one and therefore I will open my computer and just tell you which uh, garments I'm looking and I have a time to decide which which cardigan I will use maybe you will write me uh, some ideas how to adjust the gauge and I will be able to knit from this book uh, a pattern and I'm thinking maybe I need just to use what I have I have pattern for cardigan uh, number two from my favorite knitwear it was my first ordered uh, pattern and it was a fail I didn't understand it but actually this uh, construction is too feminine for this yarn therefore I don't want to knit this pattern with this yarn uh, then I have April cardigan and Agneta cardigan which could work out quite okay mm, and there is a very fit size for April cardigan and I can easily knit a smaller size and I will get like a uh, oversized type cardigan so there is a uh, one in my mind uh, also an agnetic cardigan I haven't knitted yet but there is a plan for another yarn which I really want to use for this particular pattern so also I'm thinking what should I do and uh, yesterday I have spend my time in uh, Ravel, Ravel Re, how, how it spells in right way and so I found uh, Darling Cardigan from uh, Veronica Lindbergh Kutro Kika from 
Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> it's quite a simple construction and in this construction I really love that shoulder part. There is a beautiful seam on that and not so far days ago, it was yesterday or two days ago, I watched Fiber Tail podcast and she's the designer for knits. Very, very beautiful. I have in my plans that I want knit there some stuff. But she was wearing a cardigan, which also was her design, and it not released. <laughs> and she had, uh, she was telling that there is a huge uh, issue on the back. I didn't sew what kind of, but there was amazing construction. I really love it. Uh, it it looks very in my style. Uh, like a bat style. I don't like super fit things. I like when you have a air underarms and like a like a pillow case type uh, clothes. Maybe you can say like that. But okay, it's like a you will feel free and cozy in that garment, and I like it so. Therefore, yes, uh, it was a very beautiful cardigan on her and I really hope she will release it because this yarn I have in two different colors because there, uh, I have a grey one. I knitted uh, a huge um, triangle type uh, uh, blanket but I didn't finish because I ran out from yarn and I ordered more and it came in different color like it, it's uh, it's kind of the same but in the end the color is different and so I can tell that I have this type of yarn in, in three different colors and I'm thinking to unravel that triangle type uh, and finish the blanket because I don't feel it <laughs> anymore that I want it uh, and I think it would work out very great in the same uh, friendly set, yarn set and uh, I would love to knit again a cardigan. <laughs> I think this yarn is very great for cardigans because for sweeter it's too itchy <laughs> and yeah and next one also i found very interesting uh, from emmy christopher's savage heart cardigan it's very beautiful with uh, uh, like a lace type pattern on the edges around your neck and also in the middle of the back it looks very also it's a free uh, construction it doesn't look so super fitted uh, cardigan but in my opinion I would add for this garment uh, in button also a ribbing there is no ribbing but I would love to add it and uh, also I, while I was uh, looking for ideas for cardigan I was uh, looking what uh, result was to other people from this uh, pattern for some patterns it was very off I'd, if you like the pattern you, you think oh yeah great I want to knit it and you open to see other users results and you look at them and oh no something there is off and so some patterns I just deleted because results to other users wasn't very impressive <laughs> so it it was in my opinion therefore some cardigans I just deleted when I found them and here I See, it looks quite nice to other people and I really love that. Next one cardigan is from 
Como Cocoon. It's a very nice and pencil pattern, but it's a one size. And my gauge is a little bit uh, bigger than she had, and it's a very, it's like a kimono type uh, construction. And on her, it looks quite big. So I mean, if I am such a petite lady, <laughs> it will look with this gauge also bigger. But I really wanted to knit this cardigan in future. I really love this. I love this uh, kimono type constructions. It's in my style. <laughs> so, and also I found a nice I found a cardigan which is Montrose cardigan from Cheryl Mochtari. I said it wrong oh in right way. Wow this cardigan looks very nice. I really love it but also gauges uh, uh, my gauge is a bigger and this is quite oversized car cardigan already, but this design looks... I love it. I really love it. So for now, I can tell that uh, in my gauge, there is only one pattern still from Veronica. <laughs> and uh, there is one more nice cardigan which is a little bit uh, even bigger gauge than I have. It's a curly cardigan by Irene Lynn and it looks very nice. There is no buttons <laughs> and it, with the braids, um, very interesting construction. I hope this um, cardigan when you are wearing it doesn't fall off from your shoulders but I really love this. Oh, maybe I should do need this one. But th there is some th things that's stopping me. I don't want to spend a lot of money to patterns and yarns. So my plan is to use out all, all my stash and I'm ordering only that yarn, which I need to just for additional my yarn to make garment and fabric beautiful <laughs> and uh, there is one more cardigan where is a gauge uh, a little bit bigger than mine so also can work out it's called puro cardigan by rui yamamuro I, or yamamuro no yamamuro hmm so hard to know how to pronounce names in right way but this is a raglan type cardigan and after i watched it, uh, fiber tail um, podcast she said that the raglan type cardigans isn't uh, very nice they used to fall off of the shoulders it's not very handy to wear them so, I mean, she knows what she's telling because she's a designer and worked with many types of construction. And this one, yes, holding me not to knit it. But, uh, but in other way, it looks very, very nice. Yes, I, I just checked. Petite knits of cardigans, April and Agnetta, they also isn't a, a Raglan type and I think she also knows what she do when she design uh, constructions and pattern for new pattern. <laughs> and yeah, I think this is off. One more cardigan I really loved, but it's, oh no. It's bigger. And oh, one more very beautiful, very beautiful. But their gauge is bigger than my gauge, but it's wow, it's a very beautiful cardigan. It's called Balan by Emily Greeny. 
green. Yes, very beautiful cardigan. Wow, there is no buttons also. <laughs> and yes, so um, okay, this one I also can't knit because it's off of my gauge. And uh, there is one very interesting garment, but I think I'm not ready to knit it. I think it's very, it's not easy to knit. I think it's uh, quite hard to knit. It calls No Made Jacket by Wool and Beyond. It looks like a jacket, not a cardigan type with a pockets are uh, quite drastic style but it looks too well I should learn new things by knitting everything but for now I'm not I think I'm not ready for this but I am keeping in my mind from all cardigans which I was looking for there is only three which is in my gauge and yes i need to decide which of them uh, i will knit so five cardigans in my mind maybe you have another one uh, in your mind that you know it looks i i just want quite simple of course that one carly cardigan isn't super simply but I think that pattern very good and uh, very uh, suits to this yarn. You see how beautiful it is. And I was knitted on needle size 4, so I, I can't take smaller needles because it already looks very dense. I just can make it. Uh, drapier with the bigger needles but then it, there will be a very huge gauge but i li i really love this type of fabric how it looks i want to stay on four needles with this yarn type and uh, so therefore there is uh, five cardigans in the end which i can just choose for now that i'm i have found that is a uh, darling cardigan carly cardigan and puro cardigan but puro cardigan is a raglan <laughs> and i don't think i will need it because i really want to use this i think this color suits to me very nice how do you think <laughs> And yes, this is my future plans, but it's not in the close future. It's I will plan. I'm just planning because so I was thinking about it a lot and I want to just settle down with this idea, not to work it out all the time in my mind. And yes, and I really wanted that cardigan from Sari. No, Nordland book, but I really don't understand how to adjust bigger gauge to smaller if my smallest size is <laughs> excess. <laughs> I'm afraid to recalculate stitches. I I'm not pro in this. I'm afraid to do this. I just I just know how how I can just take a bigger needles or smaller needles or maybe just other bigger size but smaller there is no possibility for me because I'm already a smaller size <laughs> and yeah mm. so tricky maybe you can help me Please. Now we have seen everything, my ideas for cardigan, but I believe there is a more in such a big gauge. And uh, I really hope to your help. Again, I'm telling it <laughs> because 
it's very hard to decide alone and it's nice if you can use YouTube just to communicate changes with them. Um, do you have in your mind ideas and suggestions? How did I say? I'm not very experienced in knitting just to make easily a gauge changes. I can do it how you know uh, just if you if I have smaller gauge it's very easy <laughs> but if it is a bigger gauge it's really hard for me to figure out how what but uh, I'm really really want to knit from this yarn for me it's very pleasant to feel this rustic yarn in my hands I don't know I, I really love uh, natural fiber and it's very pleasant fabric after I made this swatch and I'm looking forward for this <laughs> soon I just need to decide which pattern I need to use and uh, that it will turn out uh, beautiful and perfect for this rustic yarn <laughs> so thank you for your time I'm waiting for your comments suggestions and yes I really want to talk about this in a comment uh, part so Let's do this <laughs> and bye!